Most of us are familiar with the procedure at the dental office of having a periodontal probing. Essentially what's done is this little probe with the markings on it is kind of moved around the gums and, and the sulcus in between the gums and the tooth. This is done in an effort to help us record recession and bone loss. In other words, if you get into an area where you have a deeper pocket shown right here versus a more shallow pocket, it is almost deemed that the deeper pocket is problematic and there's been some bone loss there, although that might not always be the case. So here what we're looking at is this patient's uh, perioprobing results. Even though her tissues were very pink and healthy looking, you can see that she did have a little couple of little problem areas where there's a six over here. Anywhere where there's red is an area of concern for the doc to have a talk about cleanliness, brushing, and um, this could be uh, indicative of occlusion or the bite, but also of uh, an infection going on in the gums, although her gums and the measurements certainly don't indicate that. The perioprobe is nice and it does give you some good relevant data as to where the patient is right now, but it gives you very little as far as future risk assessment goes due to periodontal infection. This is a phase contrast microscope, which allows me to see chair side in real time if pathologic bacteria are present in the mouth or not. So here are the perioprobings, just to refresh your memory before we look at the slide. This is the slide for the patient whose perioprobings you just saw. Quite a different story. You see massive modal bacteria everywhere, uh, specifically a very high number of spirochetes. Uh, spirochetes are gram-negative anaerobic bacteria which cause a number of diseases uh, specifically in the mouth periodontal disease but they are being linked to Alzheimer's disease via Judith McLossie's work and confirmed by Alan McDonald and the spirochetes specifically if you look are the little squiggly corkscrew looking guys that are spinning around their own access. So as we kind of pan around this uh, slide here, you have you have some epithelial cells here. You can see white blood cells trying to mount an immune response, but they're greatly outnumbered. But the point of this little video is if all you're doing to assess periodontal risk is use a stick, the bottom line is you're going to be missing a lot of data. I've been using my phase contrast microscope in my office for about six months. I cannot imagine any perio program in any dental office existing or being efficient without it. Um, so this is something that I do not charge extra for in my office as a new, new patient. Uh, we just routinely take slides uh, on patients as they come in and we give them a, a very accurate risk assessment. And of course, uh, existing patients are followed with slides as well. I'd like to thank you for watching my video and allowing me the opportunity to share with you um, a little bit of our thought process on how we like to treat perio, which is the earliest possible moment and to be proactive instead of reactive. Thanks.